guys, so I am back with another project share. Um, this is my Secret Santa mini. Um, I joined a Secret Santa swap over at myscraproom.ning.com, and um, this is the book that I created for my partner. Uh, this won't be posted until after December 17th when she receives it, and it's going to be going overseas. So I hope she loves it, and I hope it stays together through the shipping. Um, the one thing that I have... Um, right here is a charm that my friend Christy made me, and isn't it beautiful? Um, it's got some beautiful pearls and a, a little Christmas tree and things like that. I have to put this on the book still. I'm not quite sure how to attach it, but I will attach it before I send it. So there's um, my little... There's that. Um, oh, geez. Um, I'm dropping it. <laughs> Goodness. Um, thank you so much, Christy. She is uh, Crafty Creations here on YouTube, so I'll link her below. And so you can go check out some of the other charms and things that um, she's been making. And Christy has been making some beautiful, beautiful charms um, uh, lately. So go check her out, and I'll put her below um, in the info. So this is my Christmas mini, and on the front, it's just a merry little book. Um, I put some Scrabble tiles, and then I used um, Tim Coffees, I believe, um, little chipboard letters, and it comes in this little package of, um, like, it looks like a Christmas tree, and um, so I also use, this is um, a little um, cutout piece from the, um, from his same Christmas collection um, that I bought. The, the little um, tree in the back is the same. Uh, this little banner right here I cut um, from some other pattern paper. And you guys will have to forgive me because I don't remember all the pattern papers that I used um, on this book. Um, the main one that I used was Can Company. And I can't get to the paper collection right now because it is over past the camera and I will totally knock the camera over if I um, go to get it. Um, at the bottom I used some iridescent ribbon. I love this ribbon. It just fits into so many um, projects. And then there's a little bit of burlap back here as well. On the side, all I did was, um, it was another little cutout piece um, from his collection, this uh, Tim Coffey's collection this year, and the wreath, and then um, this bird is not part of it, but I just glued it on top because I thought it looked really sweet sitting on it. And then on the bottom, I printed out uh, 2012 because it'll, you know, if it's sitting on a shelf, you can tell that it is the 2012 um, in Roman numerals. Um, it was from 2012. On the back, I kept it really simple, and it was another one of those um, cutout pieces, and um, this little rocking horse just glued it on, and then my swap information, um, it's Gina's uh, Secret Santa Swap, um, hosted by Miss Gina herself, and it's myscraproom.ning.com, which I will link below, um, so you guys can go check out the site. Um, MSR is such a wonderful place. There's so many talented and friendly women over there. Really, you guys, go check out this site. I love it there. Um, used, I believe this is, um, this paper that I used in the background is just um, from Tim Holtz is Christmas Collection. And then um, I used the same on the front. The closure that I used, I just put a couple of eyelets in the front and the back and strung some ribbon through it. And on the ribbon, I strung um, these little ornaments and I tied knots in between each of them. And it's a double-stranded bow. So then you open it like this and you open it. So here we go with the actual mini. Now with this mini, I it is a mini from my sister Scrapper. I'll link her site below as well. Lots of linking today. And it is um, a paper bag mini. And she just turned it in a different direction. And I really like that. So this mini is really fat. And I did measure it at one point in time. And I believe it was four and a half inches. But let's go ahead and measure it right now. Um, so we'll measure it from the top to the bottom. And it's, it's about four and a quarter. Okay. So 
um, it's, it's kind of a fat little mini and all of the ladies um, that I normally chat with Skype with, they tease me a lot um, about how chunky my minis come out and how fat all my projects are because I have a problem with layering. So when you open this book up, the front of it I kept really simple and I just used um, a little bit of pattern paper uh, from Reminisce and I just matted the front. I didn't even um, put a like a pocket or anything in there because there's so much other detail and stuff like that. If my partner wants to um, add you know, a pocket or anything like that, or put a picture there, she can do that. Um, she does have a little girl, so it would be perfect, um, maybe for a Santa picture right there. Um, this first page right here, and I'm trying to get the best, there we go, the best angle is um, you open this up. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and not knock over the, um, the camera. And I didn't untie that very well. Sorry, guys. Okay. So the first one, let's try and keep the cover out of the way. The first page you're going to open up, and it opens up just like this. So you can have photo mat, photo mat or journaling, whatever she wants. Okay. Then these two pieces flip open. And these tags, when you untie this bow, these tags come out, and there's three tags in here. With these, I cut them with my Cricut, and then I just matted them with some white paper. You can see they kind of already pull, pull, pull through the bow. Um, and then I just I cut out tidings of comfort and joy. This comes from the Kay & Company paper collection, and it was a border around the larger piece. And I just popped them up on Pop Dots. Kept it pretty simple. The background paper, I know, is Tim Holtz. Um, it's part of... Um, the um, holidays past or something like that. The um, This little piece right here, this is also from the K&N Company, and I just cut this out, um, fussy cut around the shape, and it says, let our hearts be full of cheer. The little, um, oh my goodness, um, stockings, I just, I cut out with my Cricut, and I just adhered them on top with some pop dots, added a couple little gold jingle bells. And then the little secret surprise right here is you can pull Santa out. And on the back is matted for photo or you can journal on it. So there's that. And he just kind of slips out. This is another piece from the collection. And I just glossy accented it because... Again, no no project of mine would be complete without glossy accents, so I just did that. And then on the side, I don't know if you can see it a little bit, I don't want to tear it, but on the side I popped it with pop dots all the way around so it gives it a little bit of flex so that the Santa can slide in and out. So that's the first page. Now this is a fat little mini. The next two pages, okay, this is such an awkward um, angle. Okay, the next two pages. Um, are some more papers from the um, Kane Company paper collection, uh, some little 3D stickers that I also bought. This little wreath I cut from my Cricut, glossy accented, and then used um, some of the rock candy stickles on there, and then added these two little tags that I also cut from my Cricut so she can journal on the back of these, or she can, you know, put pictures, whatever she wants. This, um, again, this little flourish right here, cut from my Cricut, and um, glossy accented, and uses used some more of the rock candy. I did that throughout this page. Um, more Cricut cuts, glossy accents. Um, this little button I just stuck on there because it needed something right there. A little bit of gold um, string, and at the top I just added some green and gold string with the iridescent ribbon. So those just fit right in that pocket. Okay. Um, and then this page, there's pullouts at the top of each page. So I'll go ahead and pull it out. Now on one side, it matches this page. So it's lots of room for journaling or photo matting, whatever you want to do. Um, or not you, but whatever she wants to do. I cut some um, holly from the Tim Holtz, collect, uh, Tim Holtz Holly and Berry. Um, and then I embossed those, used a little bit of glossy accents on those, and then when you flip it over, oops, oh no, came up like that, um, it actually matches 
I tried to coordinate so it kind of matches this page right here. Um, and it's just got some snowflakes on it. Um, and so that slides into the top. I'll put that back in just a moment. Um, this page right here, I tried to keep it super simple. Here, are, um, it's just an acetate piece that I glued down and matted it. And then um, another cutout from the collection that I had bought. And then these two pieces are little chipboard ornaments. And it's got a little to and from tag, so she can address that if she wants. Some more of the cutout pieces that I glossy accented. And then on the back, there's place to write or um, put a small photo. So I kept that one, or tried to keep that one um, as simple as possible. When you open it up to the inside page, there are a couple of pockets. Um, this is another um, piece that I um, just pop dotted, another 3D sticker. Some more tags that I cut with my Cricut. This is Merry Christmas, Christmas is on its way. Just very plain on the back. Kept it simple so she could put whatever she wanted on it. And then um, this piece right here, it's another pocket and um, pull it out and it's large. More Cricut cuts um, from different papers. And let's see if we can focus it. Okay, more Cricut cuts from paper. And then on the back is just really plain. So if she wanted to put something on the front or back, she definitely could. Okay, and then um, this page right here, it's, um, Probably would be this piece right here would be good for a um, get it to focus a little bit. Sorry if this video has been a little bit out of focus. Um, it would be good for you know um, just little memories uh, from December. This and then there's two little tags to slip in. Now both of these tags you can write on, put pictures, journal front and back, and that. Kind of fun stuff. So I was trying to keep that one kind of simple. Um, this little piece is another one of the cutouts from the collection and I just um, glossy accented him again, <laughs> more glossy, and uh, just glued him down to the paper. When you pull this tag out, um, close that. when you pull this tag out it matches this right here and it's just a large photo mat, so five by seven she could put in there, and then another acetate piece that I glued down. Um, slide that back in the top. Okay. Next pages. Okay, the back of this page, again, I kept really simple. This is just another one of those pieces um, from the collection. I just cut it out, matted it, and, and um, pop dotted it on the front of the, um, the pocket and on the back oops, sorry guys just bumped the camera on the back um, <clears throat> this is a Tim Holtz reindeer that Maggie sent me um, and Maggie is happy scrapping girl here on YouTube and so I just inked it with some mustard seed and because um, I wanted to bring that yellow in and then just um, cut a larger wreath that you saw earlier and just um, more rock candy and glossy accents. The tag in there is pretty simple. Um, another one of the um, pieces from the paper collection that I cut out um, did a fancy punch on the corners, matted and matted, added it to the tag. On the back there's a place for a photo or um, journaling if my partner wants to. Sorry, it's blurry. Okay. Um, and then on the back of the pullout, it matches this page right here. I um, have a couple of little reindeers. I cut them in half, actually. So, um, and put one down here and one up here. And then three little places for mo uh, moto fats, photo mats. Um, so there's that one. Moving on to this next page. I really love this page. It turned out really pretty. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this is a, um, it's a fold out and you can do journaling and stuff like that, but make the season bright. Um, some more of the um, paper collection cutouts. On the back is some Cricut cuts. You can see the holly and then this um, kind of garland thing that I put on the back for added interest. And then when you open this up, it opens up like this, like this, and um, sorry about jostling the camera. And um, let's see if it says there seems to be a mat. Uh, 
Ooh, can't talk. Sorry, guys. There seems to be a magic in the Nate. I cannot talk. I'm probably going to have to um, cut that out. But there seems to be a magic in the very name of Christmas. And that was said by Charles Dickens. Okay. So it folds up. And then you have um, a couple, you have um, a photo matter journaling there. And then you open it up. There's some more on the back side, more on the back side. And then there, and then there's a place for the wish list. So um, she can write her, you know, the wish list, rewrite it in there. Um, or, you know, her little girl's wish list, whatever she wants to do. Okay. So that folds down like that. And then you pull this center the top piece out and it's more places for um, photo mats um, and then or journaling um, it is textured paper so I would probably do photos but you know whatever she wants to do she can do or she can mat again um, and journal on it and then more Cricut cuts and then this little piece in the center is um, another little um, piece that I cut out from the paper collection and um, there's that page Flip that one back in. Okay. Then we flip to the next page. This is um, some more of those uh, fun little reindeer guys, and on the back, placing for photos or journaling. Um, another little piece from the collection that I cut out and pop dotted. This is a little uh, cherub angel that it was um, one of the cuts from a pack that I got. So I just um, matted him and stuck him on there or her I guess if you wanted it to be a girl and then when you pull out the top on the back this one kind of matches along with this page the same colors and then you can see that there's the reindeer in the back so and then um, these little pieces right here you can slip stuff under so if you have something you want to put under there um, like paper or anything like that this paper I just took a snowflake stamp and my um, or some art and just stamped all over the page to give it a little bit of um, paper dimension. Um, okay, then this page right here, this is um, actually a piece of the paper collection and I just cut it out and photo matted it or matted it. And um, this little um, piece is just a little resin um, holly and picture can go there if she wants. Open it up and um, three little photo mats right there. These are also um, little embellishments that I picked up that match the paper collection. And um, counting the days. This one is really cute. Um, down at the bottom it says it's Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. And then she can, these um, two little pieces pull out and there's um, a Dear Santa, so a letter for Santa and then um, Christmas memories, so a memory for Christmas, and I just thought that that, was a, that little guy matched the, the guy on the, that side, so kind of all pulls together. Okay, and then this is a little acetate, acetate, acetate pay, pay, ooh, piece that I also put on there, okay? Um, when you pull this out, this piece kind of matches that, um, so it's really simple, five by seven photo mat if she wants, or journaling. Um, these two little pieces were also pieces um, that were from the paper collection. Um, not from the paper collection, but from the accent pieces that match it. So there's that one. And now, and find that back in there. Next page, kept it really simple. Some more, um, this 3D sticker, okay? And um, another little cutout from the collection. These two pieces, uh, these two little guy and girl, um, they're pieces from the collection that um, I just um, added a little bit of glitter to to keep it nice and shiny and sparkly. And on the back, she can do whatever she wants on the back of those tags. Um, this is part of the actual paper, so it just kind of goes with that. And then Joy to the World, um, I glossy accented that. And then around the outside, I went in with um, the, um, not ice stickles, um, the rock candy. So that just sits in the pocket right there. Now this is one of my favorite pages that I did for the whole book. It's one of the last pages. Um, oops, sorry, I forgot to almost show you the, the back of the page. So it, it matches. I use some more of the paper collection, um, family photos, 
and then the, another little acetate piece down there. Um, and it's just round. She can journal there, put photos there if she wants. So that's how that one goes. Um, now to this one, this little snow globe right here. He's so cute. Um, he is actually magnetically held on and um, he swivels down and it hides like a photo mat. So she could put a picture there. Um, up here at the top is um, just some more cuts from my Cricut. And um, there's that little bow. But there's actually you can shake this and the snow is free in there. Um, I can't really do it right this second because you wouldn't be able to see me shake it. But you can shake it. Um, if you look on the inside of this tag, it matches the, um, the teddy bear. So I just cut some circles, some scallops with my Cricut, and then some more little stars like up here with the Joy. Um, so it just all kind of matches. Okay. Um, when you open this up, this page right here is super simple. Um, more pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, from the collection. A little birdhouse and then the cardinal right there and I just glued them on. They, um, they're just little cutout pieces down at the bottom. There's this little um, cardinal sticker. It's a 3D sticker. And then more cuts from my Cricut. Some more holly. Then you're going to lift this up. And this piece falls down. And you have two places for photo mounts or journaling. So that one I kept fairly simple. And it's just a Velcro um, closure. Okay. Um, this page right here came out super cute. Um, this is a foil acetate piece that I glued down. This little guy right here is from um, Reminis, um, a holiday collection. I don't remember which one it was. Um, and same, here comes Santa. Um, I just cut those out of the papers and um, I fussy cut around him and popped it up, added a little bit of iridescent ribbon. And then there's a little pocket right here and this piece pulls out and it says, here comes Santa Claus. So kind of hid that. There's nothing on the back. Um, so you could put whatever, she could put whatever she wanted on the back of it. And then the very last page right here, sad, 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 coming to the end. This was a lot of Cricut cuts um, for me. I made some poinsettias and um, cut out the Merry Christmas, and I just kind of layered them. And um, there's two little tags right here with some gold ribbon on the top. And some of them I cut with um, the darker red. Some of them I cut with the pattern paper, but there's those. And in the corners of these two, there's a little photo mat pieces and it's of course it's gonna be difficult on camera but you can kind of slip it in there slip a photo in there if you don't want to adhere it um, completely down and then there's that one the ho 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 and the back is blank as well so and then on the back side of this one I used more um, poinsettia paper and um, gosh focus. Um, three little photo mats again and um, or journaling whatever she wants to do and that just slips in there. And then the back cover is just more of the pattern paper from the front so she could you know put a photo or anything she wants in there and that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it took almost 24 minutes, um, but I'm going to hurry up and wrap this up. So thanks so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. This is like my first actual mini, so um, please be gentle. Uh, and if you have any criticism or critiques, be nice about it. Um, thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.